Huge thank you to Ida for providing us with such an insightful glimpse into Patsnap's analytics products roadmap. It's always fascinating to peer into the future of innovation, and I think Ida's certainly given us a lot to think about. As we move into this next set of sessions, we're going to dive into the world of life sciences innovation. But before we do, let's pause for one more giveaway. Woohoo! $100 gift card to Amazon could be yours. So you know what that means. Time to get loud in the chat. Um, this time, I think I want you to tell me what you think is the most influential or like the coolest innovation ever. Pop it in the chat and we will pick one lucky winner. Put it in the chat. <laughs> And we have a winner. It is Boy Turan. Um, congratulations. Hopefully um, you're excited about your prize. We will be in contact with you after um, the event has concluded to uh, get your gift card over to you. So congratulations. Moving right along, we will kick off our life sciences sessions. And we have a distinguished expert with us, Depika Kaushal, a leader among PatSnap's professional services team. Today, she will be exploring precision medicine and the innovation trends in CRISPR-based editing. I hope you enjoy. Over to you, Depika. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on from which part of the world you're joining us. Thank you for joining us as we uncover some key trends focused on CRISPR's next frontier, which is the rise of base editing in gene editing. Today, We'll take a journey through the fascinating history of gene editing and how it has led to the remarkable rise of base editing. Understanding the evolution of gene editing techniques will help us appreciate the significance of the latest advancements. Gene editing, the process of modifying an organism's DNA, has a rich history that has continually evolved. Our story begins with early attempts at manipulating DNA and advances through the groundbreaking discovery of CRISPR-Cas9. In the early days of gene editing, scientists had limited tools at their disposal, which means they relied on methods such as radiation, chemicals, and random mutagenesis to introduce changes in an organism's DNA. However, as these techniques were far from precise, often causing unintended and random mutations, it was almost like trying to edit a book by tossing ink at its pages. As time passed, the field of gene editing saw the emergence of more precise tools like zinc finger nucleases and transcription activator like effector nucleases. These were proteins that could be engineered to target specific DNA sequences. While ZFNs and tailends offered greater precision, designing these proteins was a complex, time-consuming, and expensive endeavor. Imagine you're editing a book with custom-designed pens for each letter. The journey of gene editing has been one of progress, from early, imprecise methods to elegantly simple simplicity of CRISPR-Cas9. However, with the rise of base editing, we are now addressing some of the limitations of traditional gene editing methods, bringing us into a new era of precision. As we proceed through this presentation, keep in mind this historical context as it sets the stage for understanding the significance of base editing. In the previous section, we explored the historical journey of gene editing. Now, let's delve into the watershed moment in the field of genetics, the CRISPR-Cas9 revolution. The discovery of the CRISPR-Cas9 system was a game changer in gene editing. It brought the precision we had long sought in this field. How does CRISPR-Cas9 work? CRISPR-Cas9 is almost like a pair of molecular scissors and a GPS system for the genome. It uses a guide RNA, a molecule that's designed to lead the Cas9 protein to a specific location in the DNA. Once there, Cas9 makes a precise cut in the DNA. 
This cut activates the cell's natural DNA repair machinery, which can be harnessed to introduce changes at the site. What's the impact? The simplicity of the CRISPR-Cas9 system revolutionized gene editing. Researchers could now target specific DNA sequences with ease. To emphasize the impact, let's turn to the PATSNAP data. It's, ev it's evident that the discovery of CRISPR-Cas9 sparked an explosion of innovation. The number of CRISPR-Cas9 related patents and research publications surged dramatically, indicating the profound influence of this technology. However, as with any breakthrough, there were challenges. And one of the significant concerns with CRISPR-Cas9 was off-target effects. In the ever-evolving landscape of gene editing, one technology stands out as a game changer, base editing. Now let's take a dive into the fascinating world of base editing, a cutting-edge gene editing technique that's taking the world of genetics and genomics by storm. Let's start by understanding what base editing is and why it's so groundbreaking. Imagine you want to edit a book, and instead of rewriting the entire book, you only need to change a single letter in one word. And that's what base, ed base editing allows us to do in the realm of genetics. Base editing is a state-of-the-art gene editing technique that enables us to make precise and controlled changes to individual nucleotides within a gene's DNA sequence. These nucleotides are the fundamental building blocks of DNA and their order defines an organism's traits, functions, and characteristics. What's truly remarkable is that base editing lets us modify a single DNA base without causing structural disruptions to the DNA double helix. How does it compare with traditional CRISPR? To appreciate this innovation, it's essential to compare base editing with the more conventional CRISPR-Cas9 or CRISPR-Cas12 methods. Traditional CRISPR involves cutting the DNA at a specific location and relies on the cell's natural repair mechanisms to introduce changes during the repair process. It can be a bit like using scissors to make edits in our book analogy, potentially causing unintended damage. In contrast, base editing takes a more surgical approach. It directly alters the targeted DNA base using a specialized enzyme called a reanimase without cutting the DNA. This means no structural breaks, resulting in more precise, predictable, and controlled edits. Now, why does precision matter so much? Well, consider the following. Number one, many genetic diseases are caused by what we call point mutations, which are single letter changes in the DNA code. These tiny alterations can result in the malfunction of critical proteins or metamolic pathways. Base editing offers the promise of correcting these mutations by precisely changing the erroneous nucleotide back to its healthy form. Secondly, the ability to make specific and controlled nucleotide changes is at the heart of precision medicine. By tailoring genetic modifications at the single letter level, we can provide personalized treatments based on an individual's unique genetic makeup. Looking at the patent filing trend as of our latest data in 2023, the domain of base editing is already a hotbed for innovation. In 2023, we have seen a significant number of base editing patents filed and issued. This signifies a growing interest in technology. What's even more exciting is the projection for the next few years based on the data and trends we've observed the numbers are on the rise. Looking ahead to 2025, we anticipate a substantial increase in the number of patents related to base editing. The rising trend in base editing patents is significant for several reasons. Number one, it shows the increasing recognition of base editing as a game-changing gene editing technology. It implies a growing competitive landscape with more entities wanting to protect their innovations.
For those of us working in base editing R&D, this trend should be encouraging sign. Charting the course with the leading innovators in the base editing patterns. Now, let's see who the trailblazers are in the realm of base editing patterns, shedding light on the driving forces behind the innovation in gene editing. Leading the pack, we have the Broad Institute, an institution renowned for pioneering advancements in gene editing techniques. Their substantial portfolio underscores their dedication to shaping the base editing landscape. The University of California is another prominent figure with a strong academic influence on this technology. Not to be overlooked, the presidents and fellows of Harvard College have made their mark with significant patent filings, showing their role in advancing base editing. The biotechnology and pharmaceutical sector is well represented by Regeneron Pharmaceuticals emphasizing the potential of therapeutic applications. Beam Therapeutics, a key player dedicated to the development of base editing technology, adds to this key list of innovators propelling this field forward. In this section of our presentation, we will shift our focus to the emerging for forces in the field of base editing. After discussing the top players who have dominated this space since last decade or so, we now turn our attention to a group of companies that have been actively filing patents over the past three to four years. These pioneers include Pairwise, Mammoth Biosciences, Sana Biotechnology, Prime Medicine, and Coro Biotech. Through their recent patent activity, these companies are demonstrating a clear commitment to pushing the boundaries of base editing technology. As we keep an eye on these emerging innovators, it is essential to recognize that their recent activity positions them as key players in evolving landscape of base editing. Let's talk about the global hotspots for base editing patent filings. We uncovered that the landscape of base editing innovations lies across the world. The United States takes the top position, emphasizing its significant investment and expertise in the field, while China follows with rapid advancements in healthcare, agriculture, and biotechnology applications. The European Patent Office serves as an essential hub for European collaboration, highlighting the international nature of this research. Meanwhile, Japan, South Korea, Australia, the Netherlands, Italy, and Singapore all make notable contributions to the global base editing patent landscape, showcasing the diverse and widespread interest in this technology. This global diversity signifies the profound interest in base editing technology and its potential to reshape various industries. It illustrates that while the United States and China lead the way, the collaborative efforts of nations across the globe continue to drive innovation and patent filing in this field. Let's delve into the intricate world of base editing patent litigation. This slide specifically highlights the plaintiffs involved and the key trends shaping these legal battles. First, let's address the noticeable trend patent litigation in the base editing space is on the rise. The growing number of lawsuits indicates the importance and value of base editing technologies, spurring competition and dispute over intellectual property. As we examine the plaintiffs engaged in, this patent, in these patent disputes, we see a diverse array of players driving the litigation landscape, where the prominent plaintiffs include Agilent Technologies, a leading life sciences and di diagnostics company, Take-Two Technology, known for its innovations in gene editing, Sniper Biome, a company specializing in CRISPR-based technologies, University of California, Toolgen, a biotechnology company with the expertise in gene editing. In summary, the base editing patent litigation landscape is dynamic and on the rise. 
These prominent plaintiffs reflect the diverse range of stakeholders engaged in legal battles over intellectual property. However, on the other side of the spectrum, we do have organizations who are willing to license their patented technology. This slide provides a snapshot of the trends in patent licensing since 2014 and showcases the innovators who have been sharing their expertise in this space. To begin, let's examine the trend of patent licensing related to base editing technology. Since 2014, we've witnessed a consistent upward trajectory in the licensing of base editing technology. This indicates a growing interest in collaboration. 2018 marked a significant peak, suggesting a period of heightened activity and partnership in the base editing field. In 2023, we observed another peak, indicating that the trend is ongoing and gaining momentum. Prominent licensees in the field of base editing technology include renowned institutions and organizations. Harvard University, the University of Missouri, NIH, Iowa State University, Montana State University, Massachusetts General Hospital, the University of Minnesota, Stanford University, and the Broad Institute are actively participating in the trend of licensing their base editing technology. Their contributions underscore a growing culture of collaboration and knowledge exchange within the base editing landscape facilitating the development of this innovative technology and its diverse applications in healthcare and many more industries. When we consider the landscape of base editing, it's crucial to approach the challenges from an innovation point of view. Among the numerous challenges in the base editing space, we suggest prioritizing the exploration of the off-target effects. Now, why off-target challenges, you may ask? The answer lies in the fundamental nature of precision medicine and the potential consequences of these off-target effects. Precision medicine is guiding us towards personalized and more effective th therapies. And achieving this level of personalization necessitates absolute accuracy in gene editing. It's here that addressing off-target effects takes precedence as it directly impacts the precision and safety of these therapies. By minimizing the off-target alterations, we not only enhance the reliability of base editing techniques, but also pave the way for the development of highly targeted and personalized therapies, aligning perfectly with the vision of precision medicine. This slide highlights the increasing trend of patents filed concerning these challenges and particularly noting the substantial rise since 2017 onwards. In our exploration of innovative solutions to the formidable challenge of off-target effects in the field of base editing, now we turn our attention to key players who are at the forefront of pioneering breakthroughs in this critical area. These institutions and organizations have stepped up to address the challenge of precision and safety, particularly in minimizing off-target effects. In the pursuit of innovative solutions to address the challenging off-target effects within the field of base editing, we highlight some key players at the forefront of groundbreaking research and technology. These institutions and organizations include Shanghai Tech University, Broad Institute, Massachusetts General Hospital, Arbor Biotech, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Beam Therapeutics, BioRay, and others. All of them have prioritized the development of strategies and methodologies to minimize off-target alterations in gene editing landscape. In 2023, so far, base editors have made significant strides in the clinics. Base editing systems have been in CRISPR 2023 spotlight as they entered the clinics. Gene editing startup Verve Therapeutics has taken aim at cardiovascular disease, 
developing base editing treatments for several conditions that are caused by elevated levels of low-density lipoprotein cholesterol. Another base editing startup, Beam Therapeutics, has used the power of base editors to tackle cancer, creating CAR T cells with multiple edits. With these successes so far, it furthers our excitement for its innovative potential in the coming months and years. As we conclude our journey through the world of base editing, it's clear that we are on the cusp of an exciting era in gene editing. We've explored today the evolution of gene editing, from the early ink blots of random mutations to the precision of CRISPR-Cas9. We witnessed the birth of base editing, a technology that takes precision to the level of single nucleotides in the genetic code. Base editing offers the promise of directly correcting genetic mutations, revolutionizing our approach to genetic diseases. Its precision reduces off-target effects, making it safer and more effective for therapeutic applications. We've seen how the academic institutions, biotech companies, and venture capitalists are actively shaping the field, investing in research and development. These key players are driving innovation and advancing base editing towards practical applications. We leveraged PatSnap data to gain insight into patent trends, showcasing the dynamic and competitive landscape of base editing. In conclusion, the future of base editing is, is, is exceptionally promising with challenges like off-target effects being addressed and a diverse array of applications on the horizon. We are on the brink of transformative changes in healthcare, agriculture, and biotechnology. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of gene editing and base editing.